My name is Alice Rekab. I'm an artist. I live and work in Dublin. As a child, my mum was a painter and a printmaker, and so um, I've been looking at art and making art uh, since before I can remember. <laughs> I've been making art since I was really small, but when I decided to become an artist as a profession was in secondary school. I was about uh, 14 or 15 and uh, just really felt like the art room was where I needed to be and making art is what I needed to do and it was very strong. I was like, I didn't, almost felt like I didn't have a choice, I had to do it. And um, yeah, so that was when it started for me and then yeah, through the subjects I chose for my Leaving Cert, but then also um, going to art colleges to train, um, both here in Ireland and also in London. Um, so to learn skills, but also to learn how to think about art and to talk about art and to think about the ways that I wanted to make art particularly and um, how to tell the stories I wanted to tell through my work. Um, so going to college was really, really helpful uh, for that and also meeting other artists and having those kind of conversations with other artists um, was really stimulating and helped me kind of expand my horizon around what I thought that art could be. So I get to be with myself and to listen to myself in particular ways and uh, express myself through uh, the materials that I work with, particularly working with clay and kind of the clay feeling like an extension of my body, also working with colour. <laughs> And then also the, the research that I do as an artist, so looking at my family history as a, a piece of research and finding new things out about my family, looking at family photographs and things like that, but then also reading about the history of Sierra Leone, for instance, where my dad's family come from, and finding images and artefacts from there that are important to me or that really resonate with me and bringing them into my work. And the idea of bringing these things together to show to new audiences and to share with other people uh, is really exciting. Um, so this is a digital print uh, called I Satu Any Cats. I Satu is my grandmother's first name, and uh, this is a photo of her. So it's actually a composite image of um, uh, an old family photograph of my granny Aisatu Kaloko in her apartment in Freetown. And uh, it's uh, then kind of augmented and, and sort of uh, enhanced with digital drawing that I've done. Um, and then also I've uh, overlaid a photograph of a sculpture that I made. Um, and the sculpture is actually a replica of an object that she kept by her bedside. And so there's this kind of layering of, of um, kind of existing historical documents and then things made from memory, um, all brought together um, in a kind of a devotional image about her life um, and domestic space particularly. Um, in the background, her sewing machine is kind of highlighted. So this kind of act of drawing around things and, and um, kind of making them shine is very much about uh, kind of honoring her and, and her life. Um, and then also uh, at the bottom, uh, the original cat. <laughs> and then I used uh, the uh, image uh, editing software to, to clone multiple cats for her because she loved cats. So there's, um, there's the kind of idea of um, everything being possible in, in, this, in this picture. And, uh, and yeah, I'm very happy with it. And it was uh, recently acquired by the Irish Museum of Modern Art. So I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, it's a great honour for our family also to have my grandmother immortalised in this way. And uh, yeah. The best thing about being an artist is uh, getting to do what I love all the time, uh, getting to meet people um, that have similar interests to me and share ideas, and also to share my ideas and my work and the things that I love with a wider world and a bigger audience. There are lots of different types of typical days when you're an artist. Um, uh, coming into the studio, uh, kind of finishing things, starting new things, uh, a lot of reading as well and, and spending time with ideas. Um, you know, that makes up a lot, a lot of empty space. There's kind of a lot of sitting and thinking about things is, is quite important. It's not all just making and making. And then there's the sort of bit that you don't hear about, which is like answering emails for four hours and um, <laughs> talking on the phone to people, um, having people into your studio to look at your work. Uh, there's loads of different, different aspects to being an artist. Um, and uh, yeah, the making is part of it and very, very central, the most important part, but there are a lot of things that have to happen to support that as well.
So I'm currently working on um, a piece of clay uh, in the shape of a snake that is attached to a hoover. Um, and this is going to form part of a, an installation of the sculpture itself, but then also part of a performance that I'm working on. Uh, the performance is looking at uh, ideas of domesticity um, and also this idea of like a family heirloom, this kind of mixing together sort of fantasy objects and things from myth and then very, very mundane, normal household objects like a hoover and bringing them together in kind of a, a dreamy, um, fun, but also a kind of mysterious kind of world. <laughs>